Welcome to my channel, Outspoken Samantha. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome back. And you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do it. I appreciate your support and I need your help to grow this channel and to beat the YouTube algorithm that doesn't particularly like people with views that are not of the radical left. So help me by doing these things. Um, also head on over to Rumble and find me there under Outspoken Samantha in the event that YouTube decides I have violated their communist, I mean, community standards and chooses to kick me off their platform forever. That being said, let's get into today's topic. So there's a clip that went viral and it's from a Dutch television show. I don't know what the show is called, um, but it's from an episode of the show called Simply Naked. And I'll set up what we're going to see because then you can determine if you want to watch the clip or skip over it. Because I know that, you know, I have gotten comments before saying that we don't need to see this stuff to understand how depraved it is. We don't need to show this stuff because we're just continuing to support the exploitation of these kids and the abuse of these kids. And I agree with that to a point, but I also disagree with it to a point because I think that it's one thing to, to hear that these things are happening, but it's quite another to see it with your own eyes. In this clip, there is this group of kids ages 10 to 12 sitting in a couple of rows of chairs and their chairs are spread out out and they are staggered intentionally so as not to obstruct anyone's view so everyone has a clear view of what's happening right in front of them. Then a group of transgender adults walk in and all of these adults take off their robes and they strip naked and each of them tells a story about how they became transgender, a story about who they are. By the end of the clip, the five transgender people are all just standing there, still just buck naked in front of these kids with no, no clothes on, and then the kids are invited to ask questions. So I'm going to insert the clip. Um, it's between a minute and a minute and a half long, depending on how much I choose to include here, but I'll put a timestamp so you can choose to skip over it if you would like. Welkom bij Gewoon Bloot. In Gewoon Bloot gaan volwassen mensen geheel uit de kleren zodat wij er wat van kunnen leren. Deze kinderen uit groep 7 en 8 mogen aan hen alles vragen over hun blote lichaam. En vandaag hebben we als gasten transgenders. Het gaat echt om het gevoel wat je van binnen hebt. Ja, en dat gevoel, daar, dat kan je gewoon ja. hebben, maar daar kan je ook iets mee doen. Zoals ik ook een operatie heb gedaan, mm -hmm. maar je kan ook transgender zijn en uh, geen operaties uh, ondergaan. Die heb ik wel wat in mijn broek, maar ik, ben, ik heb nog steeds een, een vulva en daar voel ik me niet prettig bij en vandaar dat ik dan passeer in mijn boxer met mijn pekker. Ja. Ja. Per se alleen man, man en vrouw, vrouw. Uh, uh, daartussen zit gewoon ontzettend veel. Nadat na, na, je een operatie hebt gehad. Anne Chris, uh, hoe voel je dat? Uh, ken je het woord euforisch? Nee. Oké, okay, dat is echt heel blij. Echt heel blij. Ik werd wakker en ik wist dat ik geen borstje meer had, dat het plat was, dat het was zoals ik altijd heb gewild, zoals ik me van binnen voel. Ik was echt tot plafond, uh, zeg maar door het plafond vrolijk gewoon. Het is een huidig. soort van dat je vliegt. Ja. ja. ja je bent dan gewoon super blij. Dat wil ik ook. Misschien. <laughs> Aside from the incredibly disgusting fact that there are five naked adults just standing in front of children and the fact that this is completely repugnant, what takes it to a whole other level is that these are adults whose anatomy has been completely mutilated. The purpose of doing this is to condition kids and not just the, these kids, but all kids to believe that this is normal and to eliminate any aversion that they might have down the road if and when they themselves are offered the opportunity to get one or more of these surgeries for themselves. Not only that, the people pushing this on children, they know that these kids are gonna take this messaging back to their peers. They're gonna take it back to their friends and they're going to share what they learned and how they were enlightened with their friends and spread this message that there's nothing abnormal about it, there's nothing scary about it, and that it's perfectly fine. And those who are pushing this on kids, pushing this extremely distorted idea of sexuality on them, they know that they're young. They know that their minds are easy to influence at this young age. And they know that this is the prime time to manipulate their belief system, you know, the belief system of these kids into aligning with theirs. And that by doing so, they, these kids will be prepped and primed to counter anyone 
who says this isn't normal and that it isn't healthy. And they're being programmed not to listen to their parents and not to listen to anybody who sees the truth of what this is or tries to warn them about how utterly evil and depraved this is. We can see how bad this is getting. We can see how far this is going, the fact that they have no limits and that this is going to continue to get worse. We have to continue to talk about this issue. We cannot get bored with it. We cannot get tired of hearing it because it is getting only progressively worse. And what the left wants us to do is to get tired of hearing about it, to get tired of talking about this issue and just start to accept it as normal and it, and start to believe that we can't do anything about it. That is what they want us to believe. And we cannot do that because these are our kids that we're talking about here. So please hit the like button, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or even just leave an emoji in the comments below. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video and I will see you in the next one.